guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Before we start today's video, right up here are this week's um, plans, this week's itinerary, this week's schedule. So um, while I have the schedule up and I go over everything, here are the ordering instructions for placing an order if you see anything you would like to purchase in today's video. Um, so let's go over it quickly. Um, today is June 12th. We're going to be doing this jewelry video launching at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tomorrow is the long-awaited 10,000 subscriber live hangout with Kyle and I. It is going to be around 7.30 p.m. Eastern. I'll probably start it a couple minutes early. Um <clears throat> to just kind of like, you know, so everyone can get the notification and start to come in. We are going to be going over a lot of different things, okay? We're going to be doing giveaways. We're going to be going over different announcements. I have a lot of things that I'm going to be offering to you guys. Um, and there's going to be a couple changes, but not anything like drastic. It's just going to be, you know, like about my policies and mainly payment policies because I'm having a lot of trouble with people and their payments. They're just not paying. So we're going to, you know, go through a couple different things, but mostly it's going to be about you guys offering you guys you know, a lot of different things, uh, new things and giveaways and, you know, just kind of hang out. We're going to do like a Q&A. So get some questions ready for me if you would like. And we're going to be staying on for, I don't know, maybe two hours. We'll see. Okay, then Wednesday the 14th is another jewelry video, another usual jewelry video, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard. Thursday, 6.15, I have a live jewelry auction on my channel scheduled 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Marjena, um, and her channel is Sunshine Amberzina. So um, I will put all this information down in the description box as well. And then on Friday, we have like a double feature, okay? So I am doing my usual purse sale video at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard, and I am also a part of the Jewelathon Jewelry Live Marathon um, <clears throat> with Real Creative Studios and Hemlock Mercantile. Um, I'm not allowed to give a time of when my slot, my 30 minute slot is, um, but just as a hint, it is after my jewelry, I mean my purse sale video. That's, you know, that's all I'm going to say. So, that is t this week's super busy week, so um, I hope to see you guys um, at least for the 10K Live Hangout tomorrow. So let me get this off the screen, and um, I'm sure you've had enough time to see the ordering instructions. And for today's video, we're going to be opening up the jewelry that I won on a live, I mean, sorry, not live, well, it was live, but an online auction. So I won three lots of jewelry. Um, they were kind of mystery. They just gave you like an overview picture of everything. You can kind of like zoom in if you wanted. But anyway, I spent um, over a little over $100 on all of this. So I am hoping, actually it was like between one and 150, I forget exactly. But hopefully there's some good stuff in here. This jewelry box is full with um, jewelry. Then we have these two bags here. So, Let's, um, we're going to do the jewelry box last, and we're going to do the bags first, so let's just pick one, let's just do that one, and let's bring you guys in a little bit, okay, so let's hope for some good stuff, this online auction house is right down the street from my house, it's about two minutes, um, two miles, um, so it's a lot, it's so easy to just, you know, go over there and pick up my winnings. Okay, so first up we have a pair of butterfly earrings that looks like are made in Costa Rica. And they seem like they're like a type of resin. So maybe the person, um, you know, made them out of a mold and then hand painted them. So these are cute. Let's do those for $5. And there was um, 
mentioning that there is sterling in some of these. So we'll have to keep a lookout for, um, you know, markings. So this is cool, but it's missing some pieces. This is um, like a black metal. It's like a little enhancer and a brooch. It's very dirty. Um, this is, I think, is like just like an acrylic piece. Let me make sure we're focused here. Um, and then these little, I don't know if they were supposed to be pearls, but we're definitely missing some things all around the outside. So I'm just gonna do this for $2 if somebody wanted to upcycle that. <clears throat> Cook's Kitchen, let's see what's in here. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have a little sunflower pin brooch. It's kind of got a couple little dings on it, so we'll just do that for a dollar. Um, this is a 1984 Hallmark bunny brooch. We'll do that for three dollars. We have a little wooden bunny that looks like somebody handmade that. We'll do that for two dollars. These are clip-on earrings, but it looks like this one broke. So we'll just do those for a dollar. Oh, cute. We have the little um, nesting doll pin. That is so cute. It is like uh, holiday themed. We'll do that for, we'll do that for six bucks. That's in good shape. We have a little wooden Easter egg. Looks like somebody may have handmade that as well. We'll do that for $2. We have two marbles, which is totally random. Do those for a dollar for both. And then we have a pair of neon orange jack-o'-lantern earrings. These do seem like metal with the uh, enamel over it. Every time I start a video, man, my phone goes off. I should know better by now to shut it off. Okay, so we'll do these for $4. They're in good shape. And then <clears throat> we have this little guy. All right, so I don't see any markings. Yeah, it is magnetic. So for the little uh, pendant, we'll just do that for $4. And then we have the little box. All right, let's keep going. Hopefully there's some better stuff because <laughs> I'm quite upset. All right. So we have a ring. This is worn, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I guess that's supposed to be an eye. I don't think it's any type of stone. It just feels like an acrylic insert. There are markings, so let's get a little closer. Made in USA. And then what else does it say? I can't read that. I hate, sometimes it's so hard to see inside the band of a ring. I'm not sure. All right, so let's get a size. There is some wear on it. It's a size six. As is, I'll do it for five bucks. <clears throat> All right, these look like they're probably um, amethyst, but there is some wear to the brass, I'm going to assume that this is, but they're still pretty. Uh, we'll do them for $4. That just feels like acrylic, maybe a little um, money clip or tie bar or something like that. We'll do that for five. This little pretty, um, maybe forget-me-nots, little bracelet. It is a six and a half. We'll do that for five dollars. We have a pair of clip-on earrings. These look like they're in good shape. 
I don't see any markings on them. But they're in good shape. Pretty. And let's do those for five. Let's bring you guys in a little bit. So I don't see this mate unless it's somewhere else in the bag. So, and I don't see this one. Ay, ay, ay. These are really not in good condition at all. So I'll just do them for a dollar. We have these screw backs, but one of them is missing the pearl. So those are a dollar for crafting. We have this little ring. Let me turn on Pressy because that could be a little stone on the inside there in the middle. I don't see any other markings, any markings. It is magnetic, so it's not a precious metal. It is a size six and a quarter, but let's see what this stone might be. It could be a clear topaz. Oh no, wait. It's a diamond. I knew it. So it is a diamond in just gold tone, which is a little weird. But what I say? It was six and a quarter. It is in pretty good condition. Very minor wear. Um, I'll do it for just 10 bucks. These are pretty. Ooh, those are really pretty. Don't think I see any maker marks on these. No. But these are very pretty, very nice for the summer. Um, so we'll do five on those. Another little single earring. And then this chain is very worn. So we're just gonna put that into crafting for a dollar. Okay, this, oh, it has a jewelry mark. This says, Irwin Pearl, okay. So I've only ever seen earrings from this brand. Um, this does seem very, very small, uh, which kind of stinks because it's in really, really good condition. Oh, it's 16 inches, so that should be fine. Let me just put it up to my neck. Yeah, it, it's like just fitting around my neck with like a little bit of room to spare. So it's definitely a, like it's going to sit literally at the base of your neck. Um, I would maybe put this at a 15 and a half because it's so thick. Um, but it's in really, really nice condition. It does have a little bit of weight. Um, and it is marked Irwin Pearl. So I'm going to do... 14 on it. Very cool. Okay. These are, this is a brand called Birds and Blooms. So this one is from 2007. So we'll do this one for five. This one is 1996 Ann Clark, Menden, Vermont. A little teapot, we'll do that for four. Birds and Blooms for uh, the year 2000. That's really cute. This is really great for like a gardener. Can give that to a little 
little lady or gentleman that's a green thumb. Very pretty. We'll do that for $4. I mean, $5. $5. Seeds. Another good uh, gardening little gift here. Gardener gift. Birds and Blooms for 2003. $5. And they're all in good shape. This one's a little cardinal, I think. Ooh, I think its leg is broken off. So we'll just do that for $4. This one's a JJ. It's a little like lawn chair pin. We'll do that for four. We have a uh, shamrock tack pin. It says HVK. Do that for four bucks. We have a little garden fork maybe. I don't know, some kind of gardening tool, I would think. Uh, four bucks. <clears throat> Here's another JJ. This is a copper watering can. Four bucks, tuck pin. A little bird, little bird tack pin, four bucks. Oh, look, we have the matching other little gardening tool. So four bucks. I see we have a Santa pair of earrings, four bucks. Little sun tack pin by DLB, four bucks. We have this shamrock tack pin. Just checking it for markings. Okay. So we'll do this one for $3. This guy, I don't think has a back to him. Oh, it's an earring. Um, I don't see the mate. So, you know, we'll see. Who knows? Um, white metal heart earrings, four bucks. Another little gardening tool, little wheelbarrow from JJ, four bucks. Uh, these are little Christmas trees, but it's missing some of the pieces. So we'll just do those for a dollar. Missing his pin, so I don't know. About that. Are these metal? Yeah, I think these are metal ball studs. Um, we'll do those for three dollars. Okay, let's see what else we got in this bag. Ooh, these are really pretty. Look at these. These have like a chip, almost like a Maybe a sodalite chip. And then the beautiful abalone. These are alpaca, Mexico, which are, this is a composite metal. So it's made up of, I think, three different metals. Um, it's not sterling. These are absolutely gorgeous. Let's do these for $12, $12. We have more of these little resin Butterfly earrings, these are pretty. It's almost like an iridescent blue. Do those for five. Then we have these. Ooh, these are pretty too. Five dollars as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we have a little purple glitter heart. And we'll do that for three dollars. All right, almost done with this baggie and then we'll go into the other one. Ooh, what is this? This definitely looks handmade. This is interesting. So it's got like, I don't think this is leather. I think this is faux. And these are definitely like uh, resin made hearts on a brooch. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's do that for $5. <clears throat>
So now we have a rhinestone vintage necklace. No markings. We do have one missing rhinestone up here toward the top and right here. Oh man, and here and here. So that's not gonna work. Um, so this will just be a dollar in crafting. Unfortunately, there's too many missing rhinestones. Ooh, this is pretty. Well, I have no idea what that says. Garn? Garn jewelry? We, we don't have to look that one up. So let's do a quick eBay search. Garn jewelry necklace. Okay, so they're listed on eBay between about 15 and 30, 60, somewhere around there. So let's look at the solds. Um, it doesn't look like there are many solds because now that we're getting into garnet jewelry. So what we're gonna do is first let's check for all the rhinestones. I think this is put on crooked, so hold on. Okay, I think they're all here. Very, very beautiful with the baguettes here in the front. It looks like it's in really nice condition. Let's give you a total length measurement. It's a nice fold over clasp. It's 17 inches. Now on the fold over clasp, I don't know if there was supposed to be rhinestones in here. Um, so let's do this for 15. Beautiful, 17 inches total length. This looks like a very small necklace. You might even be able to double this as a bracelet. So it's silver tone. It's about 14 inches. So um, we'll just do that for five. Ooh, I think this is sterling. Nine two five Italy, a nice ball chain. So let's do a little testy poo. Okay, we are positive for sterling. All right, now let's make sure that the length on it is a nice length, because again, it does look a little short. It is 15 inches. So let me just actually open it up and make sure at the total length. It's 15 and a half inches, 15 and a half inches. Sterling silver ball chain, and we'll do that for 15. Oh, so we have, it looks like a bracelet, rhinestone. They are all here, thankfully. I don't see any maker marks. It is a fold over clasp. Nice condition. This is a six and three fourths inch, six and three fourths, and we'll do that for six. And then this one, all right, hold on. Okay, there we go. This one actually has a safety chain. So isn't that cool? 
That's definitely a sign of a quality piece of jewelry. I don't see any missing rhinestones, so that's good. I also don't see any maker marks though. This one measures seven inches and we'll do this one for $8. Okay, so we have one more thing. Oh, wait, we have something in the bottom of the bag. And then we have this. RCGS 54. Looking for markings. A lot of these types of things can be gold. Okay, it's not magnetic. However, I do not see any markings. And I do see wear on the clasp and the pin back. And to me, this doesn't look like gold. So I'll look into it a little bit further. Let's move on to this. Okay, how are we opening this? There we go. Okay, so I think this may be a cigarette holder? Business card holder? Hold on, let's look. I don't wanna show you guys my new business cards that I made. That's part of tomorrow, tomorrow's thing, but we'll just do a little sneak peek. Um, I think this is a business card holder. So that's really cool. It looks like it's in really nice condition with the little um, gems in there that move around. It just needs to be wiped down. So business card holder, I'll do that for six bucks. Cool. Okay, so moving on to the next bag. Well, let's see what's in this one. I don't really think I'm making my money back at all so far, so. Let's hope that, you know, we get a little bit better here. Um, all right, so this looks like a lot of earrings. So let's just dump it all out. This box is kind of really gross, so we're gonna just throw that out. Okay, let's see. Now, what matches do I see first? I see this heart set of earrings not exactly sure what the center is made out of but it's kind of got like a blue bluish hue to it they are post back with a little bit of a dangle so we'll do those for four dollars these are really pretty hearts with the little flower not sure if these would be sterling. They kind of look like it. No, not sterling. Still very pretty. We'll do those for five. These are hematite. Hematite heart hook earrings. Good condition. $4. Uh, here's this guy. Not sure what this is either. It looks like it could be like ceramic with the sides painted. Very pretty, $4. These are cute, if I could grab them. Little flower pots, how cute are these? Adorable, $4. These little birdies. I don't see any, oh wait. No, I don't see any markings on these. They are magnetic. These are cute. We'll do those for five, silver tone. 
Okay, next up, let's look at these. These are really pretty. Really pretty uh, filigree. Just looking for markings. I don't see any markings on these, no. So they are just silver tone, but they're beautiful. We'll do those for five. We have a silver tone heart, open heart. I'll put brand new backs on them. We'll do those for four. These look like just little blue, maybe enamel studs. Do those for three. Another like filigree work, hearts. Silver tone, we'll do those for $4. Actually, wait, they do say something on them. They do say 925, but why are they magnetic? That's weird, so let's see. Oh geez, they don't even scratch. Okay, I'm not even gonna go for it. So I'll just do them for five, five dollars. These have a little hematite center, gold tone, little rope studs. I don't think they match though. I mean, they match, but the sides look different, look. I don't know, I'll just do those for a dollar. All right, we got some hoops. I believe these are just silver tone. They have a little bit of like a diamond cut pattern on them. Do those for $4. And these all look the same. These don't really look like they're in the best condition. This one doesn't even, oh, it does. So they don't really look like they're in the best condition, so I'll just do them for a dollar a set, okay? Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so this is like a little, <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. It's like a little wooden, I don't know what you call that, but there's a bell inside and it's on a cord, and then you could adjust the size. So I'll do that for $5. This would be cool to even hang from like your rear view mirror or put on your cat. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so this is a little stone on a cord. Do that for $4. That's cute. Somebody hand painted that. Five bucks. Oh, I like this one. Look how cute this is. I love the wood that, that it's on too. Five dollars. Beautiful. Got the little Boyd's Bear it looks like. Five bucks. A little wooden Handmade snowman brooch, $3. AC uh, snowman tack pin, $3. This guy, I think, is metal, and then he was painted. Snowman brooch, $3. Ooh, this looks pretty. This is just acrylic, I think. Yeah. So acrylic, but really pretty. Got the iridescence on there. These are real pearls. With acrylic, you got some Baroque pearls. Wow, super pretty. So there's no clasp, but you got all these really cool elements. I mean, look at that. How cool. 
So very pretty. Um, like I said, no clasp, but real pearls. Um, it is a 13 inch drop to the pendant. It's just to here, 13 inches. So for this, I'm going to do um, $12. That's really cool. Even just for those pearls, that's worth it. Okay, what is this? Is this two pieces, one piece? What is this? How does this go? Okay, I got it. So it looks like somebody handmade this. Um, hold on. Okay, I think. All right, so it goes like this. It has the um, black string with a glass bead, and you can tie it. And then you have two more glass beads here. Really pretty. And then look at this. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? And then it comes down to this little like dangly bit. <laughs> and these are all glass. These look like they're amethyst. So, I mean, even that, this is cool. And you can obviously tie this as tight as you want. So I'm gonna do this for $10. It's really pretty. We have a Psycho, Seiko, Psycho, Seiko. Seiko, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, of course it doesn't work, so I can try to change the battery. There's a little bit of wear on the back and on the little button right here. It is just a stretchy watch, two-tone. Other than the face toward the back here, the rest of it seems to be okay. Um, without stretching it, it's sitting at a six and a half. So let's do this for 10 bucks. What is this? Okay, this is just a, oh! <laughs> I was like, this is just a ball of stuff, but it's a bird's nest. How cute. So we have a little handmade piece here. Cute. Uh, the drop on it is 12 inches. Do that for $5. Okay, so, don't know where this came from, but these are kind of like a champagne color. These are like a gray, so we'll do them both for five. Then we have these. Um, these, are, these two are not really in good condition. They're silver tone, silver tone, silver tone, gold tone. Um, I'm not really liking the condition on these, so we'll just do all of these for a dollar. Do a focus check. Um, this is just a plastic faux pearl necklace. It's not in bad condition. It's very lightweight. It is a, an eight inch drop. Do that for four bucks. Got little clear studs and per faux pearls. <clears throat> we'll do them both for five. Okay, then we have, this one doesn't have a mate. And then we have kind of like a peach colored set and a white faux pearl set. So we'll do, um, we'll do them for $3 each set, each set. All right, this just looks like a bunch of different backings, so I'm not even gonna bother with those.
We have this big mama. Look at this guy. Whoa, Nelly. All right, he definitely needs a cleaning on his eyes. Let's see. That's a little bit better. <laughs> so this is a big guy. He's articulated. He's in pretty good condition. Nice chunky chain. Definitely vintage. Um, it's definitely got some weight. It's 12 inches to 12 inches drop to the pendant. Nice green eyes. Acrylic. Let's do this guy for $12. He's cool. Ooh. So this definitely looks handmade as well. I think we're missing one rhinestone, maybe two. So we'll just do these kitty cats for $3. Uh, okay, this is all jumbled up. These are uh, paper beads. Just do this for $3. We have two tree brooches. So this one's in good shape. It has all the rhinestones. It, it's a JJ. This one's actually in really nice condition. Do that one for six. This one is missing the stone, but it's right here. This one's not marked. So I will glue this guy back in and we'll do this one for five. LTD Quartz has the little moon. I'm sure maybe when it changes to daytime, it, it's a sun. Uh, it is not leather. It says China. It, I mean, I don't think it's been worn. So I can change the battery and we'll do $6. All right, this is the last piece for this bag and then we will open up the jewelry box, which I have not opened yet. We're going to do it together. Okay, this definitely needs to be cleaned. But other than that, it looks to be in good shape. It's Avon. It's also a brooch. So it's gold tone with the white. It is very long. It is a 16 inch drop to the pendant and we'll do that for $8. It just needs to be cleaned up. Okay, let's get, let me get all these bags off my desk here and we will bring over the jewelry box. Now, I don't know if anybody would be interested in purchasing the jewelry box. It is kind of in rough condition. So, don't really know, but we'll open it up and we'll see what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, la 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 la. All right, it doesn't look, <laughs> doesn't really look too promising, but, ooh, it smells like a vintage jewelry box. Okay, let's, um... I guess I can kind of leave you right here, except the camera now is like super close to my mouth. So I'm sorry if it sounds like extra loud now, but we can just kind of go through it like this, I guess. All right, this is a faux pearl necklace. It has the, see, but now my focus is gonna be out. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna have to just move it over. We're gonna have to move it over and I'm gonna have to just pick out of it. I don't know how I'm going to do this. My desk is so small, you guys. Um, let's see if we can just go like that at least. And then maybe I can just do it in this little area over here. All right. So this one, my focus might be trying to focus over here. So we'll have to see if this works. Um, there's a little bit of discoloration on the clasp, but this... I mean, it looks like it's in okay condition. 
It's an 11 inch drop, so we'll just do that for five. All right, let's go through all these. This is weird. I've never seen a digital clock watch with a metal band. They must have switched it out. Well, it does work. Timex and Iron Man. This one is a size seven and a half. Um, so I don't know, we'll do it for $8. <laughs> Unitron, this one does not work. I don't know about, you know, changing all these batteries, guys. So we might just have to do all these as is. You know, if you want one specifically, I could try to change it. Um, but this one's a stretchy silver tone digital, um, six bucks. Um, I'll only change the batteries if you guys, you know, are interested in them. I'm not going to change them all and then nobody buys them. So uh, definitely just email me and I'll change them accordingly. So this one's really nice. This is an affinity stretchy gold tone, but it doesn't work. So, um, $8. Like I said, I will change the batteries upon interest. <laughs> uh, this one doesn't have a brand, but it is stretchy as well. Silver tone. We'll do that for eight. Beverly Hills Polo Club. This one's really nice. This one's a men's watch. It's in actually really, really good condition. It's two-tone. There's a couple little scratches on like the, the outside of the face, but I don't see anything wrong with the actual face. This one's bigger. This one is a size eight, eight inch. And we'll do that for 15. Granted, I could change the batteries. Oh, this is a Sarah Coventry. Sarah Coventry Supreme. And then you have, you can adjust the length. Wait, how does this go? Oh, I think it just hooks like this. Something like that. So you could adjust the length, I think. Um, so, you know, granted I can change the battery. We'll do this one for 15. This is a little vintage stretchy number. Hamilton, it says. Very pretty. This looks very Art Deco. It is stretchy. It's definitely smaller. It's only sitting at a five and a half and it can stretch to a seven. What does that say? Oh, the bezel is 10K something. 10K RCP, RGP. So I guess that maybe that means like, a, let's try to look this one up. So it's Hamilton. Vintage watch. Stop it. Hold on a minute. Hamilton. Right, that says Hamilton, yeah. Hamilton, let's try what I said. What did I say? 10K RG, RGP, RGP stretch watch. Okay. So granted I could get this going I mean, this watch goes for some pretty good money, huh? So um, I'll try to change the battery and I'll let you guys know on the screen.
some info. It's cute. All right, I'll put that over here. Okay, so we got a bunch of keys down here. That one says master with the lion. We have that one. Oh, this might be for the, for the box. Let's see. No. <laughs> so, and then we got this one. This one's probably for the box. Nope. So we got these three keys. I'll do them for a dollar each. Trying to get this whole section cleared out. Okay, so let's see. We have a little... I don't know what that is. It does seem to be glass. Just do that for $3. We have a little cross pin, cross brooch. Do that for three. All right, I don't see, oh, this is a pendant. I think it's just like a resin. Yeah, it's Avon, gold tone, pendant. We'll do that for five. And these don't have any mates for now. And then this is just looks like it came out of something. So we'll hold on to that stuff. That's pretty. Mm, I don't see any maker marks. Gold tone heart brooch. We'll do that for five. This one's a Sarah Coventry. Gold tone with the silver tone around it. We'll do that for six. All right, some of this stuff, I'm gonna wait till the end so I can lay it out, like the necklaces. Oh, look, we have the mates. So these, all right, so maybe, maybe this is like, oh, but this has a lot of wear. I was gonna say maybe it's an expensive set, but not with that wear on it. See it all on the tips here? So we'll do those for five. We have a little agate stone here, two for five, ha, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut tack pin, that might be worth something. Let's look it up on eBay. Pizza Hut, what does it say? Top, top, QSC, QSC, nothing. Okay, so we'll do that for five. <laughs> we have some broken pieces. So that's just gonna be nothing. All right, that one's complete. Remember, I'm just taking out the necklaces to show them at the end where I can move the the box out of the way. This will just be a dollar. This is a little gold tone leaf brooch. Do that for five. Oh, here's an earring that might go with that blue, I mean that green stone we took out earlier. CYO 56 and 57. I don't know what that says. Dijes and Clust, New York. So it's definitely a type of metal that the person won. There, I think it goes like that. So I'm not really sure what to do with these. Um, I guess if anyone's interested, you could just email me. All right, so here's the other earring where that piece fell out. So we'll see if it's down in the bottom here. This, I think, yeah, so there we go. I'll have to fix that. It's just an acrylic piece. 
I don't see any maker marks on it. You got a double Rolo chain. Do the earrings have markings? No. So I will glue back in the green. It's a nine and a half inch drop. It'll take two seconds to just glue that right back in. And we'll do this for $6. Lake Placid SP80. I don't know, three bucks. Oops. Not sure if this is a pendant or what. We'll just do that for $3. Is this the, nope, here's another key, random key will be a dollar. Oh, here's another one, will be a dollar. It's a button. Okay, that's it for that, for the bottom. I'll do this at the end because they're necklaces. Okay, here's the green piece for the other earring. So, boom. I won't sell them as a set. Some people don't like the sets. They are screw back earrings. So we'll do these for five. All right, so we had the earrings over right here that didn't have a mate. So here are these. These are, they look like a clip on and a screw back. We'll do those for three. We have these, these are screw backs. They say, Vandell 120th 12K gold filled. And they have a really pretty faux pearl. Oh geez, Louise. And they are in good condition. So we'll do those for $6. Then this was the last one that we didn't have a mate for, but I don't see it up here. So let's just keep going. My guide friend protector, Roma. I mean, it might be sterling, I don't know. We'll do that for five. I don't think we had that mate. I don't think we have this one either so far. Ooh, this is a pretty clip on. No maker marks, but that's gorgeous. I don't think we have the mate to that either though. Okay. This is a cufflink, swank cufflink with the mother of pearl back there. Somebody could make this out of a brooch, make this into a brooch. We'll do that for four. Oh man, this doesn't have the mate either. That's really pretty. It's all acrylic, but there's nothing on the back. So these are all just singles. There's another little cross. Um, I forgot what I asked for the other one. I think I said three. Yeah, I don't know what any of this other stuff is. Okay, so let me just make sure there's nothing else in here. There's that little thing, but let me check the little pouch in the back. So I found this. It says, I cannot read that, but it's a little pendant. We'll do that for five. Okay, so that's all the that's it. That's it that's in the jewelry box. So now I don't know if anybody wanted this box. I don't think the key is in here. It definitely is a little hurt. Um, but I would do it for five dollars because it is pretty discolored, but the structure of it is really good. We had all these singles over here, um, so they'll just be like two for a dollar, all these guys. 
not this. These guys, and then we're gonna do the, the necklaces. So this, these are really not in good shape. We're missing a stone. It does say something right there though. What the heck does that say? I don't think it says anything. I think it's just scratches. So I think I might pass on this one. The luster is coming off all of these. So this will just be a dollar in crafting. I think this person liked keys, huh? So we have maybe one of these is for the jewelry box. This says bead chain. Let me just try all of these in the jewelry box really quick. Please hold. Do, 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 do. Okay, the first one is not. Second one is not. Okay, no. So these are not for the jewelry box, but I'll sell this for $5. I know some people really like keys. This chain is broken. It probably just needs to be reattached. It doesn't really seem like a big boo-boo. So we'll just do that for $3. And then this one, oh, I didn't measure that one. This one, I think these are just silver tone. This one's eight and a half inches on the drop. We'll do that for $4. We have this is silver tone. I feel like I keep going out of focus. I'm sorry. It says China with blue stones. I think it's just silver tone. It's in good shape. It's an eight and a half inch drop. We'll do that for five. And then we have this one, clear stones. Let me move, move you guys back in a little bit so you're not so close to my mouth. <laughs> I think this is just um, silver tone. Eight and a half inch drop. We'll do that for $6. And then I saved this one for last because this one's a beaut. Now, this one definitely has some discoloration because of the age. And there is one baguette missing right there. One stone missing there. One there. Damn. What does that say? Rhinus? I have no idea what that means. They put an extender on it. Renaud, Renaud. But there's another missing stone here. So that really stinks. Um, they look to be pretty um, Pretty rare, but I don't know if it would be worth this money with all these missing stones. Um, and they are all prong set, so you'd have to fit the prong back over the stone if you were to put new stones in here. Um, this, you know, that one is glued in. So I don't really know what to do with this one. Um, let me give you a length. 
It's 16 inches. There are missing stones, um, but if I'll do it for $10. I think somebody can still appreciate this. 1940s Renaud, 10 bucks. It's still beautiful, even if you just add it to your jewelry collection. Gorgeous. Okay, so that's it, guys. So what do we think? What do we think of the online auction lots? Let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe right down here if you haven't already. I will put up the ordering instructions again really fast. And this week's schedule. So thank you all for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.